Hey guys, what's going on, dudes? It is David here. We are back with another video. Now, in this video, guys, we shall be talking about Triple H's, or should I say, Shawn Michaels' NXT. Now, when it comes to NXT, the recent rumors going around is that there's going to be a women's North American Championship being debuted, I think, in a couple of weeks, or being decided on who's going to be the champion in a couple of weeks. And I wanted to go through the women's roster. And I put ev I put the the top fifteen wrestlers that I think have a shot at being the new North American NXT Women's Champion and the inaugural champion. Now, when it comes to these fifteen re women's wrestlers, there are some that I excluded because of the story they got going on right now. I don't think Lola Vice is going to be in the story because she's got something going on with Natalia. I don't think that Lyle Valkyrie or Tatum Paxter are going to be in it because they got a storyline going on right now. Roxanne Perez is going to be out of it because she's the, the champion. And I also have an interesting name, Mako Samantura. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't really know what's going on with her. And also Wendy Chu, don't really know what's going on with her either. So here is my top 15 in terms of who I think is going to have the best potential in order to be the inaugural NXT Women's Champion. At number one, I have Last Legend. Last Legend, for the simple factor of that, she is doing so well with the metaphor and the fat, the past year, she's improved so much in the ring. And then she had that little moment with Trick Williams a, a, a couple weeks ago. Last Legend has to be number one. Number two, Blair Davenport. Three, Keanu James. When, I think besides the loss at, NX, at NXT um, Stand and Deliver, Keon James has been on a roll. Uh, number four, I got to go with Jada Parker. Number five, I have Fallon Henley. Six, Kalani Jordan. JC Jane at seven. So Ruka at eight. Izzy Dame at nine. And Ariana Grace at ten. Now, these are the ones that I have just missing out on my top ten favorites to win the North American Championship. Number 11, I have Lola Vice, and I definitely would probably have Lola Vice in my top 10 if she didn't have a storyline going on right now with Natalia. Number 12, I have Thea Hale, and I just want to say this. I mean, oh, will ill the Thea Hale. She's one of my favorites, but I just don't really see her having an opportunity to be the North American champion at this moment. Number 13, Jakar Jackson. She's been disappeared. Nobody really knows what's been happening with her when it, when it comes to either uh, X or you know, like NXT right now. 14, Gigi Dolan. She's been on a complete losing streak, so I don't even think that Gigi Dolan would have a chance. And then number 15, I have Ren Sinclair, who just debuted a couple months ago or a couple weeks ago at this point right now. Now, now I go back to the top 10. Lash Legend, Blair Davenport, Keanu Jane, Jada Parker, Fallon Henley, Kalani Jordan, JC Jane, Sol Ruka, Izzy Dane, and Ariana Grace. That is the 10 women's superstars that I think are going to be the top, the favorites to be the, the inaugural NXT North American Women's Champion. Now, when it comes to this top 10, who do I think is going to be the champion? Well, if you had to say this right now, in my personal opinion, the favorite to win this championship is going to be Lash Legend. She's improved in the ring. She's very good in the mic. And she has a great storyline going on right now with the metaphor. Plus, obviously, she had that big moment with Trick Williams a couple weeks ago, as I mentioned. And I just think that Last Legend right now is the favorite to be the North American Women's Champion. And if you look at the way the NXT has been doing the uh, the Men's North American Championship, it's been a lot of, you know, like people of color that have won the championship in the past. So I wouldn't be surprised if Last Legend is the favorite to win the title. Now, when it comes to my personal pick on who I think is going to be the new NXT North American Women's Champion, well, that is somebody that's been wrestling for NXT when it comes to NXT UK. Now to NXT, she's had a couple storylines. She had a storyline where she was taking out people that were injured, and then they came back and, you know, like Roxanne Perez faced her when she, you know, like debuted on the NXT roster. My pick for the NXT North American Women's Championship is going to be Blair Davenport, and I just think that's due down to her having the wrestling experience and her having the storylines that she's had. I, th I just think that in, if you want to make someone that can make the title good before somebody else takes it off, I say Last Legend and probably take it off of Blair Davenport, then that'd be a good moment. I think that Blair Davenport has enough experience 
and the legacy, the history to carry to be the day, the inaugural champion for the North American Women's Championship. And if you had to say my sleeper, the one that I think is going to have a good chance, but maybe, you know, like not so one of the favorites, I'm going to have to give it to Kalani Jordan. Kalani and Jordan had an impressive showing at NXT staying in the liver. She's very improved in the ring. And keep in mind, she was the runner-up for the NXT Women's Breakout Tournament when Lola Vice won that. And I feel like Kalani Jordan should have won that. Because besides the fact that she doesn't have a character right now, she's good in the ring. She's getting better on the mic. Kalani Jordan would definitely be my sleeper. But in terms of my three picks, like I said, the favorite slash legend, my pick is going to be Blair Davenport. And the sleeper for the NXT North American Women's Champion, in my opinion, is going to be Kalani Jordan. But otherwise, my top 10 goes as followed. Last legend at 1, Blair Davenport 2, Keanu James at 3, Jada Parker at 4, Fallon Henley at 5, Kalani Jordan at 6, JC Jane at 7, So Ruka at 8, Izzy Dame at 9, and Ariana Grace at 10. Let me know what your guys' opinions are in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys all later. Peace.